Byton, a brand that I and you guys never heard of only a little bit over a year ago, but they had a premiere at uh, 2018 CES. And since then, they have made probably one of the biggest progress I've ever seen, including Tesla, in the automotive industry. They are actually going in production this year. People, customers are going to be driving their cars this year, which is amazing. Now, um, I was at CES, as you know, a year later um, and talked to their CEO. And I think this is his fifth time on my show. I think this is like the most frequent guest on this show, which is really cool. As you guys know, I really love that brand. I'm one of the reservation holders as well. And uh, we talked about quite a few things, but also let me give you a quick update on their factory, which I visited uh, only in June and basically just was walking on the dirt. So I'll tell you how we went from that to, hey, we're gonna be making cars right here, right now. All of this is coming up next. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. If this is your first time here, okay, all right, I, I forgive you, but as long as you click on that subscribe button so that way you don't miss anything moving forward. All right, so let's talk about uh, uh, Byton. And again, um, I've, I've, I've interviewed uh, Karsten a few times um, now, and every time, he has something new to share with me. Every time I see Byton at, a, at an auto show or an event, they have something new to share. They are literally the the, the fastest pace to production. Um, I love this picture because this is just us talking before the interview because we kind of get, you know, kind of get the blood going and uh, talking about what we're going to talk about. And uh, But, you know, I really don't prep for this interviews, especially with Karsten. He's like an extremely honest guy. He's really straight to the point. I've never uh, heard any of his PR people saying, well, don't ask this or don't ask that. Um, and, this, and this time around, I was actually kind of playing the devil's advocate. I'm not really sure if he kind of realized that, but I think that made the interview a little more interesting. But now here's a video of a me that I took in Nanjing, China, when we visited the factory, as you can see, it's mainly dirt over there behind, and look how huge it is. It's absolutely humongous. That was in June of last year. So we're talking about not that far uh, back. And this is an image of this factory last month, I believe. Check this out. I mean, the whole damn thing is pretty much finished. They're also producing cars there right now. There are um, few, dozen of them are now in China driving around. I know there are a few of them here in California as well, but as you can see, these guys have built a factory and started making cars like in freaking eight months. This is really unbelievable. But things in China happen very quickly, as you know, that's why Tesla believes that they're going to be uh, able to at least make some parts in their factory that they just started building uh, last month as well. So, yes, things happen very quickly, very cheaply there. And that's why I really think uh, that they, they're not kidding around when they're saying, hey, yep, we're going to be making cars within a couple of years of launching our first you know, concept car um, at CES 2018. All right, so I, 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 I'm, I've, and I've addressed a few of these issues. Again, I was kind of just trying to kind of joke around and be a devil's advocate with Karsten. Uh, before we move to the interview, by the way, let me remind you that this video and this channel is sponsored by Starman Gifts, the home of adventures of Starman, an amazing comic book by our friend Eli Burton. You can grab a discount code in the description of this video. There's so many other cool things that they sell in that store, and that discount applies to absolutely all of them. But you got to own that comic book about the Starman and launch of the SpaceX program, as you guys have seen it probably many, many times. All right, without further ado, my interview with Karsten, the CEO of Byton at CES 2019. Good, good to see you again. We just spoke, I don't know, a month ago. <laughs> yeah, it was a pleasure for me. <laughs> and yet you guys have more stuff that you've unveiled today at your press conference here at CES. Tell me a little bit about what's new once again. So yeah, we are moving very fast. Uh, as a startup company, we have to do so uh, because we want and have to hit the market end of this year. We've been very pleased today to show our production interior, production uh, user interface of the Mbyte concept, which will hit the market end of the year. Last year, we showed the concept. We promised that we will deliver. And this year, we're showing the result and we will deliver by end of the year. Uh, people say that that huge screen will never stay. It's never going to happen. Is it happening? It is happening because what you saw today is not any longer concept, not any longer show business like Benoit said. This is production technology and this is like the car will hit the market. But only in China, right? Not in the US or Europe. Or 
No, this is a Vault product. You will see the big screen as much as a tablet in the steering wheel in all the markets, in China, in the US and in Europe. And uh, there has been some challenges, obviously, because you know if you want to sell in the United States, in 50 states, you have to include a so-called full-size airbag, which is not needed for, 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 for Europe and for China. And this is the reason why the screen is a bit smaller now and the, 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 the part above, um, below the screen is a bit uh, bigger, because we had to make the airbag work. But this big screen on the dashboard, that's also staying, is that correct? This is absolutely staying and this is the same piece. It's actually the same hardware piece like we had in the show, in the show car already. And this will be part of every production model and every part of the market, of the world, because this is Byton DNA. Now, how is this possible that in just a little over two years, Two years, you guys started the company pretty much, um, unveiled two concept cars, uh, pretty much almost built a factory. We'll talk about that in a second. I don't, I don't really think you can even do a cell phone in that kind of a. a how is it? How is it possible? How is you and your team able to execute it? And and when are we going to see the first car? So it's basically three factors. Um, if you start from scratch, you do easier than if you have a legacy, a legacy of 100 years and investments and everything. It's the first part. The second part is a team. If you have great people and if you don't try to control them, if you let them do, they can achieve very big and great things. And the third part is about partners. We found very strong partners who are helping us with money, with technology, and bringing those things together made us uh, moving very, very fast. And again, the product will hit the market end of 2019 in China first, and it will come to the United States into Europe in the third quarter of 2020. And now when we visited Nanjing, where your factory was being built in June, it was mainly dirt. But now the pictures, and my audience will see those pictures, it looks like it's like halfway done. How is it possible it's being done so fast and where are you guys actually going to actually open it and start making cars? So it's actually not only halfway done. I, I, I assume those pictures have been old already. The, the, the construction is nearly completely done now. Uh, the roofs are on our, all the buildings. And one of the things, amazing things in China, is in China everything is moving extremely fast. Yeah? If you have the right support, if you have the right uh, people on board and the right, let's say, connections, relationships, then you can do very, very fast. And I'm very proud of the fact that we did groundbreaking a bit more than one year before, and now the construction is nearly done. Um, so we built prototypes in this plant already. We are, on the, we are right now installing technology like press and paint shop, and uh, we will bring the first car into the production process by June of this year, then giving us another six months to train the process, bring it to the quality level, and then deliver the car out of the engine plant by end of next year. And are you still planning on keeping the base price of this car at 45000 when it sells in America? Definitely. So this is a target. The entry model, having the small battery, battery with a range of 400 kilometers, uh, only rear-wheel drive, and not all the fancy options we showed, showed today, will sell around 45000 US dollars. Are you a little bit concerned with all the tariff wars going on right now with China? Do you think it will benefit you guys, hurt you, or are you really kind of immune to that right now? Do you th what do you think? Uh, it's hardly to believe that it will benefit us. Um, on the other hand, uh, nobody knows what really will happen in the future. I still hope um, that people come together and that they will find um, acceptable solutions for all the parties. Because at the end of the day, uh, we should find a, a, a worldwide trade system where everybody, which is beneficial for everyone. Now, uh, obviously, we are preparing some some backup solutions in case this kind of terrorist will come. We are prepared to do so, but it's too early to talk about it. What can we expect? Uh, how do you think this, this 2019 year is going to add, end for you? What, what, what is the vision for that? So we will have major milestones during this year. One is uh, at uh, uh, the Shanghai Auto Show in April and the Shanghai CES in June, where we are going to show the complete production model. So not only like we showed today the UI and the front row, but every, the complete interior and exterior. Then we are going to take orders. And uh, again, uh, the opening event of the plant will take place before the end of the year. Before the end of the year, we are going to build cars there. And before the end of the year, you will see some of them in the hand of end customers. And this is uh, not our, only our vision. It would be <laughs> uh, not strong enough. It's only a vision. This is our plan. And this plan we are going to execute.
And by, this, by the end of this year, there will be customers driving this car in China and the next year after that in Europe and America? Correct. So I'll, I'll be one of them. End of this year only in China. End of next year you will see them in America and in Europe. We have some cars on American roads, by the way. The first prototypes arrived only three days before. Mm -hmm. and they are driving around here. They're still camouflaged, far away from a production model. But they hit the ground of Silicon Valley now. So we might actually try to spy on them. All right, yeah, okay. Maybe. A little <laughs> challenge for everybody. All right, listen, congratulations on everything, and Thank I can't you. wait to see you guys, what you guys are going to deliver in the next few months. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, I'm really excited for Byton and, and what they have done, and this year is the year of execution. This is where we'll find out if... Uh, if they can really achieve everything they've promised, I have to say that they've already been kind of uh, hitting their milestone, which is impressive for a startup. But as you know, uh, all of their executive staff comes from uh, uh, manufacturers, you know, Karsten and many other, uh, uh, you know, people who work there came from their BMW i program. So they know what they're doing. This is not their first rodeo and they just wanted to do it, start from scratch and do what they believe was right um, in order to make an amazing um all electric cars, as you know, the M byte will start at $45,000 here. Um, you can go and make reservation. They don't even take down payments. You can literally just give your information. It took me like, I don't know, 25 seconds to do it. So I, I, I would strongly recommend because they obviously will sell out pretty quickly once they start selling this car in here in the United States next year. It's like literally happening. So I'm really, really excited about that. Obviously, I will keep you guys updated on, you know, uh, all kinds of news that I'm sure will be coming out in the next few months. Um, they are scheduled to participate in a few other shows here and there so there will definitely be news uh by the way let me give a quick shout out to one of my new patreons kevin shen thank you so much for joining my patreon community and contributing to the show i'm independent full-time youtuber so thank you for your help uh of, of of really being on the air and being able to do this full time um of course on the top tier you guys can watch me live be the first ones to watch these videos um and because it is news so um, time does matter. Um, uh, yeah, so I, I mean, I can't, I can't thank you all enough, Kevin, and the rest of my uh, uh, Patreon community for supporting me. All right, let me know what you guys think about uh, Biden's progress. Are you already on the reservation list? Yes, no, why not? And and what's holding you back if you're not? Uh, definitely curious to uh, know. I will keep you updated on this and many other subjects. Other than that, <laughs> don't forget to stay charged.